Hello everyone, my name is Ruger, and I hope you're having an awesome day. Today I'll be showing you how to get everything in 1.17. new update has brought tons of new items to Minecraft and the game, and I'll be showing you how to get all of them today, and let's get started into the tutorial. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this uh, video and it helps you out a lot, consider your like button, subscribe button some more, and let's get into it. So first thing we're going to start with here today is the Amethyst. Amethyst you can find underground, Amethyst Geodes is what you're going to have to look for. And this one most commonly on around Y level 30. And you can find my recommendation is going out in the ocean looking for them. And that you can find them a lot easier that way. They're easy to spot. You just look under the ocean, you throw them around the boat, and they're a lot e more access accessible there because they're just in the ocean. You can just swim down there with water bring potion or whatever. And that's how you get these. You'll need the shards. These are amethyst shards, and you make spy glasses and tinted glass and tons of other stuff with these including the blocks, you don't want to break these, these are the amethyst buds, and they grow these amethysts, and you've got several stages, you've got the small one, the medium, and the large. Now the cluster is what's going to give you the shards. Now usually you can give you up to 4 to 16 with fortune free. If you use pistons or anything and try to make this automatic, you're only going to get two at a time, so I recommend doing it manually. It does take a little bit, but it's totally worth it, and I recommend it. Now we're gonna move on here to the lightning rod. Lightning rod attracts lightning, so you can make creeper charged, uh, charged creeper farms. And uh, also keep it away from your builds, keeping you fire, including your bases or house. And are used for other things like builds and for decoration. And then we've come over here, we got the glow squid, the goat, and the axolotls. Now, the axolotls will attack uh, the ultimate predator underwater. They'll attack anything underwater, uh, all the underwater mobs, anyways and uh, are quite a predator indeed. You can use them as a attack uh, guardians and drowns and uh, tons of fish if you want to do it in your fish farm. And they're quite useful. They don't drop anything if you kill them. You can collect them in a bucket. Easy just coming over here. So you can collect them in a bucket just by right clicking on them or pressing on the screen. If you're on touch screen, you should be able to get them. They won't attack you. You can't tame them, but you, they will work with you if you're just attacking in there a hostile mob and you can breed them with a bucket of fish. Goats, you can find extreme hills by them, and they don't drop anything, not very useful right now. They're supposed to drop goat horns, but they're not doing it in this update at least. Maybe 1.18, but for now, they just walk around the mountains and will shove you off the cliff when they just don't like you. <laughs> and uh, the ghost squid over here will drop a glow ink sacks, which is over here, and they could drop them with more of probably looting, and you will get the glow, you can make it glow ink frames, and I think there was one other thing, but I can't remember what it was. <laughs> Tell me calls if you guys know. But anyways, you can also find all of these in your existing chunks. You don't have to worry if it's old world. You don't have to go to new chunks to find these new mobs. These mobs will spawn in the regular your existing chunks. You won't have to go into those. But the rest of the items here I'm going to show you today, you're going to have to go to new chunks for. Now if you go over here, you got the drip leaf. And the drip leaf, you're going to have to get from a traveling trader. Usually they're in lush caves. But lush caves, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure. Some people say... They're in the game. Some people say they aren't. And I just honestly, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I'm just going to say you find one. Awesome. If you don't, well, you, you know, it must not be in the game. <laughs> Anyways, but uh, you give it for the Traveler Traders. So Traveler Traders are actually useful for once. And there's a couple of things they do, other things they sell. And I'll show you guys that in a minute here. And over here we got the Spyglass. It's a new item you can craft in the game. You're going to need one amethyst shard and two copper ingots to craft this. So it's quite cheap, you're going to need amethyst, and you're going to need copper. And then over here is, you're going to have the azaleas trees right here, with the flowers and with not. Um, sorry if I'm saying that wrong. And you can bone mill these, and they'll grow, and they'll grow rooted dirt underneath them. And you can get it by bone milling moss blocks. Moss blocks, you can get from traveling traders, but once again, they're actually useful for something. And uh, you can get them in shipwrecks, and I think a couple of early chests. So they're actually quite useful in the game now, the traveling traders are. So if you see one, see if they have it. If they don't have it, kill them. <laughs> and then you can get the rooted right here, let's see. This is uh, hanging roots from the rooted block, which you can get from the Azaleas, or you can get from Traveler Traders. So they sell this as well. And you can bone mill it, and you'll get this hanging roots. And I'm not quite sure what you can use with these yet. I guess they're good for decoration. But other than that, I don't know what you can use them for. They're just an item, and I'm just showing you how to get them. So <laughs> you figure it out. And then this is the Sploss Blossom, I think, or something. And, uh... Yeah, the, the spore blossom, and you get these in lush caves, but as I said, I don't know if they're in the game or not, so as far as I know, you can't obtain these right now in 1.17 currently at the time 
of 1.17, I think 0.2 or whatever. So you can't get them at this time of this update, so that's you can't get that yet. And if you go over here, you guys already know copper and iron, the gold and iron have been here for a while, but copper is a new addition. But also, you got these raw ore blocks right here. So you got a block of raw copper, and then you've got gold, and then you've got iron, and then you've got these. You see, if you don't use silk touch, if you use silk touch, you get these ores. If you don't use silk touch, you get these raw things now. And I just made that one disappear. But you get these raw gold and raw copper. And you could fortune, that means, now uh, gold and iron, and get way more out of it. So this is an awesome thing to the game, and everyone's been going crazy about it. So I recommend getting that. And uh, yeah, it's really cool. And then you get the glow berries, and the glow berries, uh, you can bone mill, and they actually do a light source. They're terrible food source. Don't do them for food. But they're good for glowing up a decoration. So get them. You'll find them in uh, mine shafts and loot chests. And uh, yeah, they're quite easy to obtain if you find a mine shaft. Hopefully, you find one in there if you do. And over here in this area, the dripstone is next. Now, a dripstone you can find in the caves, and you can grow these if you want to. Just gotta click on this right here. If you actually grow them larger, and uh, right now, this one's this right here, so you can move the cauldron, and you can see it can actually. You can actually add on to it and it'll grow bigger and bigger uh, the cauldron was right there because you can actually farm infinite lava now so you put a cauldron down here let me go cauldron real quick and you put a cauldron underneath the dripstone with lava or water above it you could farm it infinitely now you really don't need it water because why we can always make infinite water sources right now as it is we don't need to do that but lava we could do and now you can farm infinite lava Constantly, it'll go into the cauldron. And it'll soon fill up, and you can just pick it up with a bucket, and it's very useful. So now, get even lava. It's awesome. And I would go over here to powdered snow. Powdered snow. You're gonna have to get into snowy biomes if you're wondering how to get. You're gonna need some cauldrons and some buckets. And what you do if it's raining in the air biome or snowing in this biome, just head to the snowy biome and put a couple of cauldrons down and wait for it to fill up. And once it does, pick it up and you go. You go. You got it in your bucket, and then now you can just place it and uh, take it away as you please. And you do whatever you want with it. So that's how you get powdered snow. That's the way you can get it right now. There's no really automatic way of doing this. You can't really do it with the dispensers or anything. It doesn't really work that way with the cauldrons. Same for the lava. So you just gotta do it manually. So it is a little bit of pain, but at least we got that now. Also, if you come over here, we got the different kinds of deep slate. And a deep slate, you will find down a diamond level and underground in new chunks. Now you're gonna have to find this in new chunks. Uh, not in old chunks, and a lot of this other stuff you're gonna have to find there. And the powder snow you don't have to, you can do in existing chunks. And same with the lava, as long as you bring the dripstone for back from the new chunks from your mining trip. But the deep site, you're gonna have to find a diamond level, and the new chunks, you got your uh, bricks, you've got your tiles, you've got your uh, smooth and polished, and you've got your cobble, and you've got your regular, and you've got your chiseled, and all of those different kinds. You've got the stairs, the slab, there's so many different varieties. And this is really a beautiful block and an awesome block to the game. And if you come over here, we've got copper. Now copper, you can, uh, there's a lot of cool things you can do with copper. It's a cool building block. Also, you can make the spyglass and the lightning rod and uh, tons of other things with it. You can also wax it. So uh, if you want, these things will turn different stages over time. So we'll start out with this. Then you can turn to this stage and this stage and this stage and now oxidizing. But you also can wax them. So you can take this. And you can grab over here, so you can de-wax them, and you can turn it back a stage, clear until it's back to regular. Then you can wax it with a honeycomb, and it will stay that way. It won't age no more, and this will never turn back into this block ever again. It won't age over to there, and it will stay that way forever. So if you guys want to leave it at a certain stage, that's what you can do. If you want to reverse the stage, just right-click with your axe, or press down it, and you should be able to reverse the stage to whatever stage you want. Now if we come over here, you got tinted glass. Tinted glass, you need one piece of glass and four amateur shards. That's the reason you need the shards over there. And you can make tinted glass. Tinted glass won't allow light in anywhere you put it. So if you have a room and you put it on the roof, you're not going to have any light in that room. It's going to be pitch black, and that's what you're going to need for your mob farm. So it would be very good for some farms, so definitely something you should get. And I recommend it. And uh, here is glow lichen. Glow lichen is you can find it really everywhere. 
and uh, it decays when you go mining and they shut off a little bit of light that's basically all they're really good for and maybe for a little bit of decoration here and there but not really too much so uh, get some if you want to the bone mill so you bone mill it to get the same as the glow berries and uh, yeah they're, it's quite used for decoration and for some builds and then over here you've got some polished basalt and some calcite and tough so tough you can find in caves randomly just generating in little blobs here and there in the caves and everywhere and when you're strip mining calcite and polished basalt are gonna be in uh with around the surrounding of the geode so you can almost the only place you can get them right now is surrounding in MS geode it's gonna be the outside egg layer of it so that's the only way you can get these two blocks and they look quite nice and uh yeah they're quite cool building block i recommend getting these and yeah so continue on here to the deep slate ore and you've got the iron, you've got the gold, you've got the diamond, you've got the lapis, you've got the redstone, you've got the copper, you've got the coal, and you've got the emerald. Now the rarest ores now at this current moment are the deep slate diamonds. And emerald is like the ultimate rare ore. And they're talking about taking these out at 1.18 hits. Don't know why. Hopefully they change their minds, but that's their plan for now. And yeah, so get these while you can in your game. And, all, and super awesome if you find the emerald... A deep slate or or the diamond now if you come over here just one more final thing over here uh if you grab the bone mill you can actually if you're in the early game you could just bone mill uh it's moss blocks if you bone mill a moss block it'll actually turn the stone into the moss block so you literally in the early game you don't even need a pickaxe but i recommend getting one if you can get diamonds for this and you can literally if you want to do some terraforming you can take one moss block and some bone mill and just tear down an entire mountain and moss blocks are instantly broken no matter what you have in your hand so yeah it's just not creative mode here it's just not that it's literally you can break them in survival super easy easier than grass so you can literally demolish an entire mountain by turning it all into moss blocks and that's a good way to farm it and yeah i believe that is it and i hope you guys helps you get this video helps you guys out and you're able to get all the 1.17 items and have fun with them in your worlds and if you guys enjoyed this video and it helps you out a lot, consider the like button, subscribe if you want to see more. And have an awesome day, everyone.